Dave has some clothes. We've got the 411 from the 716X ports on all things car seats. How you can make sure your bundle of joys stays safe and secure in your car seat. And the Western New York experts on char-grilled hot dogs dropped off some 716 staples to the studio ahead of National Hot Dog Day to show you the Ted way to do it up. That's all coming up right here on Daytime Buffalo. Good afternoon, hello, and welcome to Daytime Buffalo. I'm your host, Chelsea Lavelle. My very first guest today is a Western New York mom who decided it was time to help others to make sure that their kids are safely secured in their car seats. Welcome, Leah Tuso, Program Director of the Buffalo Car Seat Club. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to talk about car seat safety today. Yes, absolutely. So let's talk about the Buffalo Car Seat Club and how you got started with that. So actually, it's a very relatable story. I was welcoming a newborn, and I thought that I had everything done correctly for car seat safety. I read the manual. I had my husband read the manual. I called on my sister to help us install the car seat uh, because she had a child prior to mm -hmm. me. And when I was wheeled out of sister's hospital, I looked around like, is somebody going to help me check the car seat? <laughs> Uh, so what I did was I actually took my car seat and my son to Niagara County Sheriff's. They have a wonderful team of experts out there uh, where I learned, in fact, it was not installed correctly. Not only did I jeopardize the integrity of the car seat, I actually put my son at greater risk for injury. Oh, wow. So I was overcome with emotion, very, very upset with myself, and I decided, you know what, I have to learn more about car seat safety. Uh, so I got my license with Catholic Health. Christina and David Lewis, amazing team over there as well. Uh, so here I am today. Here you are making sure that other moms don't have the struggle like you did <laughs> when you started. Now what services can the Buffalo Car Seat Club provide to our community? So we offer a variety of services. First and foremost, we love to connect caregivers with local car seat safety technicians so they can ask their car seat questions and get their car seat in installation checked by a professional. We also are able to offer any translation services, maybe if a caregiver's uh, first language is not English and they need a translation. Uh, and then in addition to that, we can help connect caregivers to car seats if they are not able to purchase one on their own. Now you guys uh, do some fundraising for your mission. Talk to us about that. Absolutely. So we are kind of a grassroots organization right now. We're boots on the ground. So I try to get into as many community events as I can with our little table. At last Sunday, we were at the Bison's game. Uh, so caregivers are welcome to come up and say hello, ask any of their car seat questions that they have. And do you have any other events coming up? We do have a number of events coming up. We've been very, very busy. I'm excited to announce. Uh, every week we have car seat safety checks available. So caregivers can go to our website. They can see if there's any car seat safety checks near them to attend. Uh, but in addition to that, we'll be at the Field Day Festival this Sunday. Uh, coming up, we have babies and bumps in August. So we're very excited. What are some of the common mistakes that people make when installing their car seats? So we see a variety of mistakes. Um, often caregivers will utilize both the latch and the seat belt to install their car seats, thinking, you know, double secure, double the safe, when in fact that is not the case. We do see a lot of misuse with people attaching uh, aftermarket products to their car seat, like those little in, uh, head pillow inserts, and then the little toys clipped on the handles and whatnot. So we want to avoid uh, aftermarket product use as well. Oh, absolutely. What are some of the things that you say to women, like yourself? You were so hard on yourself when you realized you put it on, but it was just a mistake and you went to the experts to help you. So what do you say to people that come to you and realize that they've made a mistake themselves? So just calm them down and make them feel better. Well, absolutely. It's, you know, the best thing is that they're there and they're present and they're willing to learn and accept feedback. Mm -hmm. So uh, nobody is perfect, including myself. And the best thing that we can do for our children is seek help and guidance by a licensed child passenger safety technician. What's the best way for the community to help you? So just follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. The lovely thing about our social media platform is that we respond very quickly. So uh, if anybody has a car seat question and they're on their go, on the go, they can send us a message and they'll get an instant response. So uh, just support and share our uh, social media platforms. Absolutely. And you've made some partners with the community to help you guys put on these events, right? Yes. So actually, uh, AAA Western and Central New York sponsored our commercial that was featured on the Bison 
Legends Jumbotron the other day, which was fantastic. Uh, very emotional for me to see that. And then we're welcoming any more partnerships with uh, communities so we can help advocate in the community and purchase car seats for individuals who need them. Absolutely. What are some things that are coming up for you? You have some more events, you have people coming out and asking you questions. Is there anything else people can do to get in touch with you when they're confused about how to keep their kids safe? Well, fortunately, uh, the demand's been very, very overwhelming, which is incredible to see. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to uh, add two additional technicians to our team. So Amy and Colleen are working with me diligently to respond to the emails, respond to the social media platforms. So uh, they can reach out that way. They can uh, go to our website website, buffalocarseatclub.com. There's a contact form there as well. Absolutely. You've got a lot of good stuff there, and I love that you're just making it so accessible to give our community the answers that they need to make sure they're, they're keeping their kids safe. That's the one, number one thing for any parents, especially the first-timers, right? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Listen, for more resource, resources, just head over to their website at buffalocarseatclub.com. Thanks again for coming in. Thank you for having me.